Welcome back. It's time for the news schmooze. That that gave me some anxiety. <laughs> um, now not only are you pushing me, but now I got this guy. I thought he was going to coddle me too. <laughs> Guy's sitting here yelling at me. In so many, well, you coddle kind. yourself. He told you how to. I'm going to write this book. It's a lot. It says it's a good thing I'm not cuddling you. Did you hear that? Yeah. it's no, Now I have support. I listen to this over and over and over again. I was trying to imagine the shadow. I couldn't. It was kind of like an amalgamation, if that's a word, of you and some weird like KKK looking type thing. Um, so, Carm, let's just cut to the chase here. What do you think of this... Uh, Roe v. Wade leak and the very good possibility that it's going to be overturned and you will no longer be able to get abortions in America unless the state allows you to. Your thoughts? I'm going on the barricades. What does that mean? It means like do the, on the French Revolution, people go, went to fight the monarchy and I'm going to fight this decision now we're talking about constitutional rights, so they're worried that if this goes away, there'll be a cascade effect. Yeah, that like, like gay marriage will be abolished. Interracial and- marriage, same-sex marriage, even uh, the right to custody of one's children to keep the family together, the right to control the upbringing of your children, the right of competent adults to refuse medical care, the right of consenting adults, we said this, to engage in same-sex sexual activity. All this stuff could go away. Are you scared yet? You know what I was thinking? What? When I said, look what's going on with anti-Semitism, and somebody said to me, it's my very good friend, my roommate in college, she said, it, it's my fault. I said, how? She says, it's my fault that I'm still alive, that I have to deal with this. Carmen, I'm going to torture you over this book. Now it's, now this is getting done. Well, it's getting it's done quickly, torture. too. It's getting done quickly. He was a sweet guy, Barry. Very much a West Coast Jew, not an East Coast Jew. Correct? <sighs> On to story number two. You asked me what I was doing before the show. I was switching up the, the news schmooze because I didn't love what I was looking at. Dave Chappelle, this is going to be dated by a week when you finally hear it, but he's doing stand-up in L.A., a guy armed with a fake gun that had apparently like a switchblade to... Uh, no, no, you could it, push uh, something, something for a knife to and come it out. Would snap Did a, you see the video? I mean, he full on tackled David Chappelle. Like he yes, jumped he, on. Yes, he really pushed him. And then, so they arrested the guy. His name is Isaiah Lee, 23 years old. There's a video of Isaiah getting put into an ambulance. His arm is literally bent in the opposite direction. They broke his arm, security. As soon as it was over, Chappelle says, must have been a transgender guy because he was coming. I know, I, I know why. <clears throat> and Chris Rock said, Is that Will Smith that was in the building? Um, is our free speech in jeopardy, Carm? I mean, it just happened. Chris Rock on stage at the Oscars gets slapped in the face. Now, this are, are comics not safe anymore? Is there no more sacred ground? Comics haven't been uh, safe since uh, politically correct speech. You cannot make jokes if you have to be so politically correct. Impossible. Yeah, but no one was attacking George Carlin. Can you not grunt every 30? This is an audio medium. And I'm an old lady. I can do whatever you want. I listen to Coast to Coast AM. There's a guy, Richard Serrett, that hosts on weekends. In his intro, he calls it an audio imaginarium. An audio imaginarium. No one wants to hear you grunt in that imaginarium. (laughs) Last story. NASA scientists plan plan to launch pictures of naked humans into space. This reminded me of the great Dr. Avi Loeb, who we had on the show, in the hope of luring aliens to us. The depictions, this is a true story, are going to include an invitation to respond should an intelligent alien race find the space nudes. The hypothetical aliens. Well, say it again. I wasn't listening. Can you go back to li- lane? What were you lines? thinking of? What were you thinking I of? I was. I was thinking of of uh, the previous uh, the how, interview. How with could you not be Michaels. present in the show? Okay. NASA scientists plan to launch pictures of naked humans into space in the hope of luring aliens to us. The depictions are going to include an invitation to respond should an intelligent alien race find the space nudes. 
Unfortunately, the hypothetical alien should be too shocked by the unsolicited nudes. The pictures are not graphic photographs of naked humans, but a drawing of a naked man and a woman next to a depiction of DNA. The man and woman are waving in an attempt to look more inviting. They reveal the image in a study that's part of a project called The Beacon in the Galaxy. The aim of this project is to send a message to any alien civilizations that could be out there. We had Dr. Avi Loeb on. He believes that All there's right. extraterrestrials. All right. All right. You think this will work? You explain to me now what is the difference between wearing a bikini and being completely naked? The the allure of what lies under the bikini. But 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 how do you know they may not even have sex on another yeah, uh, They planet. could look like rectangles there. I don't exactly, know. or triangles. I don't know. But, I mean, this is a real thing. Is this ridiculous? This is beyond my comprehension. Do you think ridiculous. that Dr. Avi Loeb, the Harvard the, astrophysicist, could be behind such a thing? No. no. He's not. He's, he's too highbrow for that. Yes. 